I'm going to show you a cool new feature in Replay Music 3.9. It allows you to tag previously recorded MP3s, whether they're recorded with Replay Music or not. Let me show you how. All you got to do is open up the program. I've got it here. I've, I'm not recording or anything like that. I've just got the program open. I then put my mouse over the main part of the user interface. I right click. It brings up this little menu. I go to, down to Import MP3 Files. It then brings up my documents. I go to my music or wherever your uh, previously recorded mp3 files are. Mine actually are prior replay music recordings. So I'm going to replay music. And then um, I actually had recorded my death cab for cutie station off of Pandora. So here are those songs and you'll see that uh, there were six of them that didn't get tagged properly. So I'm going to highlight all six and click open. It brings the six of them into uh, my user interface and now I'm going to highlight them again right click and go down to tag track. Let's see what happens. So I'm back and as you can see Replay Music has successfully tagged five of the six tracks. This top track wasn't tra tagged. I don't know why. It could have been that there wasn't enough of the song recorded. Maybe this wasn't a complete recording for Replay Music to uh, get the tr track information. Or it could be that this particular song isn't in the database that Replay Music accesses to tag tracks. Whatever the cause, I can do a couple things with this now. I can right click and go to edit track and manually enter the track information if I know it. Um, if I want to keep the song, I can also access edit track down here. Or if I don't want to keep the song, I can either right click and go to delete track down here or uh, highlight it, highlight it and go to d delete track here. The other thing that's cool to note is that these songs actually don't need to be moved back into the folder they came from. They never left. All that Replay Music did was grab enough of the data to be able to re-tag the songs, but the songs actually are still in the folder um, and they're just successfully tagged within the folder. I just now have one untagged song rather than six, which is pretty cool. So to finish this process, all I simply need to do is close Replay Music and I'm done. It's very simple. Anyway, and if you want some more information about Replay Music, you can go to the Applyin website, which is www.applyin.com. Click on Products, go down to Replay Music. It'll take you to the Replay Music pro product page, which is right here. If you have any questions about the program or any of the products Applyin offers, you can go to Support, go to Product Technical Support, um, ask some questions. There's also a link there to our forum and the how-to videos. Anyway, that's about it. So I hope you have fun checking it out. Thank you. Bye.